What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shamari John. Back again with another side collector shoe review video. You know what I'm saying? Big ninja activities. Go ahead and hit that like subscribe button right now. If you own a pair of side collector shoes, hit the subscribe button right now. Give the video a like. For however, however many pair of shoes that you got, you know what I'm saying? That's how many other videos, you know, that I have up available that you have to go and like right now. All right. I've been waiting for this now. This is one of his top designer shoes. And I'm talking about like up there with the the Inferno, the uh, Nuke Infernos that I got. If you have not seen that video, I'll put a card up right now. And the Varsity Blue Patchworks. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a card up right now. But yeah, these are the Sia Collective Verano Geo Napa, aka the Cranberries. Bruh. Now I looked at the shoe to make sure everything was that looked good earlier. So you won't see the reaction I got earlier. The box actually came in nice, whatever. It took a minute to get here, but the packaging and everything was straight. But look at this, yo. Look at this. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, if you, you know what I'm saying? My folks in the Discord, my folks that follow him on Instagram, Dev on Instagram on his Sia underscore collector page. If you saw this advertisement and you saying that the discount was not a discount, you are crazy and insane and, and delusional. This shoe is worth more than, you know, I think it was three, it would be $3.99 if he didn't discount it, right? So it'll be like maybe four twenty dollars after shipping and taxes. This shoe is worth more than that. This shoe is worth way more than that. It got a little back pouch so you can store everything. Um, not everything, like some money, coins, whatever and whatnot. And then it has, um, you can tuck the access laces in there or whatever. Kind of like the Infernos. So this shoe actually has three laces. And then the sole... It's like they hand cut the soles is what he was saying. Like this shoe will at least give an additional two inches to your height or whatever and whatnot. Like, bro, this shoe is beautiful. I It's like, I wish I would record my authentic reaction. I shouldn't even open it up so y'all could have seen how it was. I think this is court. You got the Italian suede, Italian leather, Italian suede, uh, Italian suede. The tongue is Italian leather. And then that's foam, like real foam on the tongue. Beautiful. The insole is very uh, easy to remove. And it's like foam underneath. Black foam, like a cranberry colored uh, leather tongue. I mean, not tongue, um, insole. And the insole is leather too. But yeah, let's get a closer look at these. Now I'm gonna do a comparison with this one and the Inferno too, so y'all can see the difference. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at the stitching. Even the pocket is Italian leather. It's 
All right, y'all. So I got the Nukin Infernos on the left and the Verano Geo Naples on the right. Now, clear thing to see off rip is that the Nukin Infernos has two sets of laces and the Geo, um, the Verano Geos have three sets of laces. So then you can see the Nukin Infernos actually gave me a little bit of extra height. Now, the Veranos are higher than that, so I can't wait to see how much of a height difference it gives me. Then on the tongs, on most Veranos, the tongue is just, you know, blank or whatever, whatever material it has there. On the Veranos, I don't know if all Veranos are like this, but it has the Saya Collective on the tongue right there. All right, I tried my best to get these side by side, but I can't step any further back. But almost a similar um, front toe. Actually, pretty similar. Almost the same sole, but this, like this midsole, this upper midsole gives it a unique difference. So here are the back of the shoes right here. As you see, the back of the ankle, the ankle support right here is higher. Oh, that's actual suede too. It feel nice. The um, the pull tab is is uh is longer and bigger. I just noticed something like right here on the like the midsole, at least part of the midsole, it's like an off white, and then the, the whiteness is right there at the bottom, like at the the tip of the end right there. Then it has an outlining of like a lighter cranberry color right there this shoe is man this shoe is worth more than 400 dollars. he gave us a discount and made it 299 but even if it was at 399 he's still hooking us up but um yeah this is like hard it's like a hard foam but it has like some softness to it but it's really firm it's like firm muscle and then this midsole is hard so off rip, I can tell that this is going to be even more of a comfortable shoe than the Inferno. The um, Inferno is, and the Inferno is a really comfortable shoe. And you know, on the Infernos, you have this pocket, like the stash pocket right here. There's the zipper right there. But then you got this foam material right here. It feels soft too. This is going to feel so good on foot. Yeah. Let me hurry up and get these on foot. I just wanted to show y'all the difference between them. Now I'm going to show y'all what they look like on foot. Peace. It was one more thing I forgot, the um, the sole itself. So similar soles, similar soles, but different. This has the somewhere in America in the center. This is pretty much straight blank. And then it has these little dots or like the grips at the bottom of the shoe sticking out. So this shoe should have some grip on it. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that real quick. I almost forgot.
All right, y'all, to conclude this video, I give these a 10 out of 10 on the craftsmanship, the quality, and comfortability, 10 out of 10. They fit true to size. I am a true 10. I got a 10 in these, and they fit perfectly. I wore a thin sock. I even had a, just a little bit of ankle room or whatever, but when I scooped my foot, when I scooted my the, the back of my heel back to the shoe, it felt perfect. And also, I did not tighten the laces. I left them just how they was, coming straight out the box. They fit perfectly fine. It feel like I'm walking. It feel like I'm walking on the cloud with these geo soles. Perfect comfortability, man. Get true to size. My half size people. I cannot advise you on what to get. I don't know what to tell y'all to size up or size down. I don't know. Y'all feet are tricky. I would look at the FAQ to see what Dev says because Dev himself he says that he is a half. Um, I can't talk. He said that he is a half size. So I would go by what Dev say to get. Um. But yeah, 10 out of 10 on these. If you own any pair of side collector shoes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. If you made it this far in the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and like. If you own a pair of side shoes, hit the like button. If you own more than one pair of side shoes, click on my I love side uh, underscore collector playlist and go ahead and like all those videos and you know, make sure you watch them in entirety. Give me that view, you know what I'm saying? Um I definitely rock with the brand. His people are sleeping on the quality of his shoes. This shoe is easily worth more than a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people purchase his shoes. I hate I miss a lot of his old stuff. And a lot of people don't even showcase. They just let it put in their they just put in their closet and just let it rot. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure Dev, I support his business. I want to make sure his business get out there for more people to see since he is, you know, fighting the shadow ban and stuff like that on IG. So, yeah, definitely, if you rock with him and stuff like that, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and like the video. Peace.